Hello and welcome. These are my outfits in the last week of summer as the winds grew stronger and the sun waned into fall. This first outfit is all about styling this blouse. I got it online and I never wore it because I didn't realize the front is so loose and low and since I don't wear bras or bralettes, I would be very self-conscious about it. But recently I found this straight neck tank top in my mom's closet from the 90s so that neckline goes very well with this blouse and I paired it with black culottes so that there's a coherence and it almost looks like a romper from underneath. There's a lot of black shoes that could work with this outfit. These flats make it a bit smart, which is nice once in a while to dress up a little bit, but it's also not formal because of the neckline and also my matching blue glasses. My eyeshadow is also iridescent butterfly blue, which I love, so I kept my lips a very unobtrusive, fleshy peach. The next day, it was proper hot under the sun, but I needed a versatile outfit so I can stay warm indoors with AC. For the top, a simple tank, which is actually a bodysuit, and it makes it very easy and nice to wear with these snug, snug pants. They also have clippings at the very bottom, so it was easy to go to the bathroom in, by the way. I'm making it a gold to wear all my clothes this year, so if you recognize this from years ago, this jacket was in my first uni vlog. It's unlined, so I won't overheat in it, but it's still comfy. And these open-toed sandals are like about the only sandals I have but luckily it looks really nice because from afar it's the same value as the jacket so it pairs quite well but the cherry on top of this outfit or should I say peach on top <laughs> is definitely the makeup and accessories so I have tangerine peachy eyeshadow and these earrings are glass peaches hand-blown by a local artist in Ithaca I found this in February when I visited an artisanal shop there and I'm just gonna cherish those forever they're so special. Wednesday was good and sunny, so I took this chance to wear my 60s dress. Found this vintage in Toronto this summer, and this jacket I found last summer, because Tyler and I's first anniversary, we went to a bunch of thrift stores and vintage stores across Cape Cod. So this outfit is very matchy-matchy and playful in that way. As accessories, I really just wanted dangly earrings, and I don't have too much right now, so I wouldn't say these plastic bottles are very fitting. They were gifted a while ago, but it's really about my bright pink eyeshadow, my pink mascara that you can barely see. <laughs> and for shoes, the white on white transforms it into a different silhouette from afar, almost like an ankle boot, and also like a little bit school girly vibes. It's very playful. And for accessories, I love to have that one thing that matches or maybe complements, but it's different from the rest of the outfit. So this green purse was my mom's from the 90s. This time when I went back home, I found a couple of things and brought it back here to wear. And this, it's a very comfy outfit for class, also quite matchy-matchy, almost patriotic colors, but having pops of yellow diffuses that, and there's also the primary palette that emerges and it makes it playful. I mainly styled it around the floral print, so that's what the pants do, as well as the socks and the shoes. Socks are one of my favorite garments, so any shoes that shows a lot of the socks gives me so many different ways to wear it and I love it. And a denim jacket is suitable because it's a nice material contrast and it doesn't compete with any of the bright colors because it's very neutral and I tried out red eyeliner that I bought but it looks much more deep magenta which is disappointing but still cute I'll still wear it and my yellow studs are from the 80s and just so funky and playful the jacket I got when I was 16 I thrifted this in New York when I was there for pre-college so it's nice to introduce all of these staples back into my daily outfits they're very nostalgic and I appreciate them and on the last day, it's like autumn officially arrived, the temperature dropped, and it's been cold and rainy since then. So a very fall appropriate outfit. My makeup is like pumpkin spice latte, very worn. And I never wear dark lips because I'm very scared of it smudging or just messing up. But it pairs so well with the maroon pants, so it's fun to have occasionally. I'm layering a tank top over this turtleneck, and the neutral blue complements the oranges, but also keeps the outfit from being exclusively cliche fall colors. And lastly, I want to mention that some of the items I wear in my lookbook are going to be listed on my site piperblue.com. Instead of using a third-party app to resell my wardrobe, I use my own domain now, so check below for which items are linked to that. Definitely moving forward, you'll see a lot of layering looks. I have to put comfort first and foremost for very chilly weather too. I will see you soon. Make sure to rest well, stay warm and dry, and enjoy your autumn. Until next time, goodbye.